Hello everybody, Richard Owen here at Owen Automotive and today we got something special going on. We got this fresh delivery from Berlin's. Uh, they pretty much delivered us the ultimate box here. It's a complete triple SU set for an E-Type. You can see the tag right there. So yeah, we're going to unopen this box and see what's inside today. Uh, yeah, this was a long time coming. It took many months to arrive and there's a lot of anticipation for what's underneath this lid. Is there anything else I should say? Okay, here we go. Whoa, look at that. Holy smokes. Isn't that impressive? So he's got the drain pipes here first. Three of them for each carb. They'll have to be bent into shape. Got the gasket. Everything's labeled in SU bags and everything. Isn't this sweet? Oh man, look at this. Holy. Okay, so you got the, the, what do you call these, the trumpets? A new piece looking good, painted in a hammer tone. Okay, keep going here. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, look at those babies shining at us. Look at those babies. Wow, holy moly. And that's sweet. Fuel pump in there. So I guess we just say that Berlin Limited owned the SU name. And that's why there's official SU labeling on everything. We even got the oil for the piston. Now yeah, the three brackets for the springs. Oh, there's a lot to this. It's pretty amazing that you can buy it all as one package complete. There's the throttle rod there, throttle linkage, I guess you could say. But yeah, the fact that all of this can come as one package is pretty mind blowing. Uh, various stuff. All right. Just got it out of the box. Gonna pour over the details a little more because this is pretty amazing. Yeah, everything on this is brand new. Berlin Fuels have uh, remanufactured it, either with all their machining processes and sand casts. So yeah, this is an entirely new piece, which is important to mention. Yeah, look, and you can look at the carburetor here in the float bowl. It has the proper tag on it there and says I see on it like it should. Um, all of the carburetors have been polished, pretty high level of polish along with the intake manifold. And you can see here the kind of rough finish uh, in between the flange there and the manifold. And that's the way these were originally. I don't think they were polished quite a lot on the edges there, but some may have been. So yeah, this is looking pretty correct really uh, the brass oats here on the end I think sometimes these are metal but this will suffice just fine yeah and it's just really all, all together a spectacular piece here we can have a look at some of the linkage yeah so that's it I think next we'll film the process of uh, putting this actually in the car and seeing how it performs All right, here's what uh, Berlin's or SU call the sundries that come with the kit. I got everything kind of out of the packages. You can see you get the main gasket, a couple hoses, oil for the dash pots on the carburetors, the drain tubes, the trumpets, carburetor gaskets. That looks cool with all the logos on there. Um, some of the hose clamps. What kind of hose clamps are these? They're uh, J. CS. Yeah, I've never seen those. Those are cool. Uh, miscellaneous hardware. The rod that goes to the firewall. 
uh, the throttle return springs and the little carriers that go below the carburetors here. Yeah, so that's everything that you get with the kit. And I think pretty much this is all you need to really slap one of these carburetor sets on a Series 1. Um, we're going to have to change a couple things because we're putting it on a Series 2. All right, got somewhat of a rare opportunity here. Uh, up here is an original set of triples with an original intake manifold. And I just noticed a few differences in the intake manifold that I thought I'd point out. That way you can see what a real one looks like compared to a replica. One of the biggest differences is this area right here. If you look at it, it's kind of smoothened out. Whereas on an original manifold, it has a big step. So that's one of the very largest differences I can see. Uh, the flange where it meets the cylinder head, has they're, they're quite rounded and fat. Look at them there, and they have a little radius going up towards them. Whereas if you look at the reproduction Berlins, they're thinner and they don't have as much of a radius. Uh, on the bottom of the flange, you can see in the original casting, there's these kind of three, like, I guess they call them little stripes of excess aluminum. And if you look down here, they're absent on the Berlin's unit. Uh, coming around here uh, to the, what, what side is this? The rear. the rear side. Coming back to the rear side here, we can look at this smooth, smooth intake. And over on the original, you'll see there's definitely a hard line where the sand cast met. And there's also some original stampings and stuff that are totally absent on the replica piece. Uh, I guess one last thing to note is up on the flange, you can see how it goes to kind of a rough surface. Even on the top edge of the flange, it's a kind of a rough surface. And if we have a look here at the Berlin's unit, uh, they totally sanded off the rough surface on the edge of the flange. But other than that, yeah, it's pretty nice looking piece. I think from a distance, most people wouldn't be able to tell that this was an all new piece. Okay guys, so this is where that Berlin's triple carb setup is headed. We're just looking at a Series 2 E-Type here. One very late Series 2 E-Type. One of the last few before they went V12. And yeah, everything's been prepared and ready to receive the unit. So the, the cylinder head surface here has been cleaned and new studs put in. And below here is a new stainless steel water tube. Yeah, these are different from the, um, yeah, these are different from the Stromberg units. And usually you want to replace this with a stainless line because they're rusty and nasty. Okay, we're ready to put it in. Okay, here comes the install. They haven't been 15 years. Yeah. But see, you just bow flex your way through the day. Quite a large unit to put in there. Right on. Okay, just primed the pump and got a slight leak on this carburetor here. Dad figures it's the jet. So let's have a look. Okay, we have the bottom of the carburetor here on the bench, the float bowl and the adapter. And as we can see, it's clearly leaking out of the, where is it coming out of the screws at the bottom of the carb? Right? Yeah. Okay, some success. My dad put on this new float bowl adapter and it seems to have stopped the leak. Uh, and he thinks it has something to do with the fit of the float bowl to the adapter. Okay, everybody, we figured it out. It's the float bowl adapter. I'll show you what I mean. Here's two float bowl adapters here. This is the new Berlin's one and this is an old one. Um, it goes on top of the float bowl like so and um, sandwiches the diaphragm for the jet. Here's the jet and diaphragm. 
And what we found is that there's just too much clearance in this new adapter piece. I can show you with the ruler here. If you put it down, yeah, there's that gap. You can see that bit of light shining through there. You get focus. And that's just too much space to seal the diaphragm so it's letting fuel by. Yes, we're gonna do one of two things. One is use this old adapter, or you could machine down the new one and get the proper clearance. I guess in conclusion, uh, I shouldn't be surprised. This is small volume manufacturing, although it would be nice for them to test fuel pressure through the carburetors. Okay, here we go. Going to start up the Berlin fuel carburetor system for the first time. We set bench set at two and a half turns on the mixture. It's running pretty good. Uh, just adjusting the mixture, getting the RPM right. But I just noticed a small leak right here at this cooling fitting. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have to deal with that. You can see it running down the manifold right here. Okay. Carburetors are finally working. Wow, listen to that. Okay, there they are, fully installed. Uh, that's it. That's the brand new Triple S used in our Series 2 E Type restoration project. Yes, it's been quite the unboxing and install. Yeah, a little trouble here and there, but nothing that we couldn't handle. Uh, one thing I'll note now that everything's back in and this air filter systems back in is that the you've got to make sure you got the breather tube so you get this cap here breather cap that's an original and you get this this line here running all the way to this elbow and you need to find all that stuff because it's not supplied in the kit but otherwise everything's there and working so yeah that's it thanks for watching this unboxing uh, that's all for now okay thank you everybody see you later bye bye